Every quarter, the Fed publishes the financial accounts of the United States, which contains a comprehensive breakdown of all the debt and credit in the country, who owes it and who owns it. The data for the fourth quarter of 2021 has recently been released. That means we now have the data for the full year. In this video, we'll look at how much total debt, which is equal to total credit, expanded last year. It's very important to monitor and forecast credit growth because in the 21st century, credit growth drives economic growth. If credit grows by less than 2% adjusted for inflation, the economy tends to go into recession. If credit contracts, the U.S. is at risk of collapsing into a depression. But first, before we look at credit growth, Let's glance at the extraordinary surge in wealth in the United States last year. Household wealth is now $150 trillion. It increased by $19 trillion last year. Over the past three years, wealth has increased by $46 trillion, or by 44%. And since its pre-crisis peak in 2007, it's increased by $80 trillion, or by 114%. This surge in wealth has been a very important driver of economic growth in recent years. So this shows the annual dollar change. And in the following charts, the year highlighted in red indicates that that is the largest growth among the three years being discussed.